faces. Everyone's got one. Some people are two-faced, and we know who you are. While the look on your face may not show what you're feeling anymore, thanks modern medicine, it can tell what's in your closet. Here's Allie Ward. I'm here to tell you, you are not just another face in the crowd. You have your own personality and look. And your look, your one-of-a-kind face, could one day have retail salespeople bringing you exactly what you're shopping for without you saying a word. Joe Rosencrantz, the founder of a facial recognition company, Face First, has come up with a way to make that happen. Located just outside of Los Angeles, I stopped by to meet Joe and to find out how this type of in-store facial recognition works. Computer vision, which is the science that we use to match you, emulates human recognition. Through the use of cameras and sophisticated computer systems, this technology was originally designed to assist law enforcement agencies in places like international airports, for instance. And while it's safety-minded and rooted in security, this technology also has the potential to improve your shopping experiences in what's sure to be a controversial new way. That's because now your face can actually reveal your shopping history. Do you tend to buy neutrals, patterns, sneakers, or jeans? It can also tell salespeople just how much money you spend, just in case they want to give you some extra TLC while you shop. It all centers around the system's computer database, full of faces of shoppers who agree to be a part of this service. And that database is connected to the store's security cameras that watch you as you shop. If you feel it's too creepy for your own privacy, you just say no. You opt out of the service. Let's take a picture. And it begins with your photo. We're going to drop you in a watch list because the system's <gasps> all about being in a watch list and being able to identify you at some future time. Mm -hmm. Because the watch list tells the system who's going to be notified. Oh. If it's a VIP that walked into a store, it might be telling somebody to bring you your latte to try to sell you a pair of shoes. What is it looking for? Is it looking at the shape of my face? Is it looking at my mouth, eyes? Well, there's a couple different stages in facial recognition. The, the first stage is facial detection. So mm -hmm. we see a complex video scene and we have to detect the, the shape of a face to look for that face in the scene. Once that detection phase is done, we then look for the best representation of you in a series of pictures. And if you match, mm -hmm. and if somebody has determined that they would like to know when you've been identified, the system sends out an email. Okay, so my picture is officially in the database. I want to see right. how this works. Why don't you just come over and sit down by the computer? Okay. And as I passed in front of the Face First Systems camera... The, the system already caught you. <laughs> Look at that. Any other questions? <laughs> I was a 99% match. In spite of a different facial expression and a different angle, it knew it was me. What's virtually happening is a grid is being laid over your face of 128 by 128 gives us 16,000 plus points. And we're looking for distances between those points. And so this is the picture you took of me when I first walked in. That's right. And so it took this frame of me walking by, it freeze framed it, it looked at my whole face, and then it went dee -dee -dee -dee. I don't know if it made that noise. And then it found this picture that you inputted in the database. That's pretty much what happened. And the action says, Bring her latte. <laughs> We're still waiting for that latte. This technology is already actively used in eight countries worldwide. And before long, it will also be a part of our retail shopping experience. Connecting your face and your preferences through your loyalty card. Okay, Joe, I'm throwing a curveball at you. Can it still recognize me, do you think? It can. Okay, what about now? Definitely. Seriously? Yeah, it can. I have a mustache and glasses on. It can. Really? Even with your fingers there. Pretty high tech. When this technology comes to life in retail stores, maybe my mustachioed mugshot will materialize into my mug of latte.